Hey guys, how's it going? Tom here from JH Gaming, and I'm bringing you a snapshot type video. It's not entirely a video as such, it's just a picture of Minecraft, like the JH Gaming Minecraft, it's like a little thumbnail kind of thing. And it's just me explaining the snapshot to you instead, because my Minecraft has decided it's not going to work, and neither has my internet. So I've got a list here of all the changes. And it's not just for this week, it's 12W24A this week, but I'm not going to be explaining this week itself. I am going to be explaining every single update, like in every single snapshot that they've put in from 1.2.5 to 1.3. I'm going to be explaining every single one. So, to start off with, I'm going to do like some general stuff, and then I'm also, actually, wait, I'm <laughs> going back to it, I'm also going to be explaining like some future updates that they are planning on actually putting into itself so I'll be talking about that later on but first off I'm gonna get into this like majorly and I guess the first thing we should start off with I think it was implemented this week is the fact that when you're mining or breaking a block in multiplayer the people playing with you will be able to see the break lines as you're breaking it now to me, I feel that that's going to make the game a little bit more realistic, as that has I don't think that's ever been there before in Minecraft. I know it hasn't since I've started playing, which is 1.2, and not this year, 1.2, like 1.2 beta. So that hasn't been there before, and I think it's going to add a really big impact of realism into the game. Now, for all you non-premium Minecraft accounts that haven't actually bought the game, there's going to be a demo mode that you guys can play which I feel will boost their, their, I guess, their account rate and buying rate, so they'll get much more money. Now, also, there's a new game mode implemented, I'm quite excited about it. It's called an adventure mode, and it still needs some more work, but it's not in a sense of your survival or your creative. It's called adventure mode, and you cannot break blocks, and I don't think you can take any damage whatsoever. I think it's a case of you're just there to wander the world and I feel that this will be an amazing like implementation from Mojang into the game for adventure map makers because if they don't want people breaking blocks I think that will help out a lot. There's also a new world type that they've implemented called large biomes so that deserts will be ex well extremely big so that the mass of the area will cover a lot more with sand because, well, deserts are big, really, aren't they? If you think about it, the planet, you know, anyway. There have been some creative mode updates as well that I feel I should go over as well. They're the ender portal frames. Like, if you're trying to make a ender portal, if you don't know the ID for the actual portal, like, frame or the actual portal itself, you can't make one, really, unless you find one. But if you have too many items, you can easily find it or... Now they've implemented it into the creative menu, so that will help out a lot more. Also, while in creative mode, players can supply a powered minecart, like a furnace minecart, by right, right, well, with fuel, by right clicking it as if they were holding coal. So they don't actually have to hold coal, but it just means that creative mode don't actually have to get out items and put it in, it just automatically works. Also, when flying, if you're like me and you fly through water or lava sometimes to look at some stuff or blah blah blah, I don't know. Well, it's no longer affected by so like the current or anything. You're not pushed back or slowed down. You're just going to keep on going. Also, shift clicking in creative mode has been improved, and potions will now be in the creative mode inventory, so you don't have to use too many items once again and find out the ID, which I think is like, I believe it's like eight characters long, and you've got to remember it in you know. They've also improved, Im Im improved, improved the creative mode inventory screen itself. So, in an essence of like ease to use, it's changed quite a big deal. So you don't have to keep scrolling down. There's like little tabs for each type of thing that you're looking for, and there's also a survival inventory tab, so you can put armor on. So you don't have to keep tabbing out of game mode and going back into it. And it's just going to be a lot easier. There's also a new thing that I will feel. I feel it will help out a million times, well I think it will help out 
really well to those people at Minecon, E3, Gamescon, all that lot that are going to be playing Minecraft. Instead of hosting a server that costs tons of money, you can just run it off your internet connection because if you're in your single player world and you t um, because there's a new chat that you can type commands into single player now like help time and all that lot like you can in vanilla Minecraft if you're an op. You can do this in multiplayer and if you type uh, like my my chat is tab and some of you might be T or some might be enter or something like that whatever if you do that and then type slash publish it will open your world so that people that are running on your Wi-Fi so say you've got a couple of friends around and you want to play Minecraft with them but you can't port forward or blah 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 you they can just join your world it will work now and it's just incredible for like LAN servers and stuff like that there's also a bonus chest that have been added to the world so in single player if you don't want to start off f like doing with nothing you can use this bonus chest and then there will be like some tools weapons armor food you know whatever and there's also a new game mode which is hardcore and moving on we have some changes to like blocks well not change well yeah changes to blocks and additions of blocks now the first one like a change to like an item or a block is that the minecart if you're sitting in a minecart and you press the WASD or whatever if you're using the arrow keys or whatever to move in a direction you will if you're working if you're on rails you'll just move in that direction so that's one thing they've also added I believe it's uh, not sure I think it's about seven new blocks like blocks itself to the game and edited like two now the first three that I'm going to go over are emerald blocks and most of you will know if you watch my previous snapshot, snapshot video is they're a new trading currency in the game so villagers now trade with you, you have a trading system, you go up to them, you give them some emeralds they give you some armor or if you give them some emeralds and a piece of armor they will enchant the armor for you and it's, well the trading system needs will work but the emerald the emerald ore you can mine it and of course you get emeralds you get like it's like a currency system and it, it's a major change in minecraft because some of you will know that minecraft has never really had a currency system itself without like economy if you're downloading plugins for a server also there's a block of emerald if you make it i believe it's like a diamond block or gold block iron block exactly the same but with emeralds you'll be able to make yourself a block of emerald which is this snazzy green block that you can use for building and i think it will work pretty well in some buildings that some people will make also there's been a new chest that's been implemented it's called an ender chest and you make it with eight obsidian around the outside and then an ender eye in the middle now this is like a magic chest chest if you place some items in it then destroy the chest then you can just it's like an inventory in an inventory like if some of you have used the backpack mod you will know exactly what I'm talking about it's just like an inventory in an inventory so you'll be able to carry around tons of stuff while not having a full inventory also they've added sandstone stairs which I feel is great information and a legitimate way to obtain cocoa beans without going into a dungeon so you can get them from like jungle biomes they'll be on the on the uh on the leaves and everything so that's one thing they've also added a new redstone thing it's called the tripwire i believe that this will be a great addition in adventure maps once again quite a lot of adventure maps in this kind of thing is that it's just like an almost invisible pressure plate that goes up to 40 blocks long and it's used by string and you can place them and it's and it works on entities and arrows and blah 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 and you can also actually Oh, what's the word? I, I, wow. <laughs> you can trigger. That's the one. You can trigger pressure plates and this tripwire with, like, arrows now. If you fire an arrow at it, it will trigger it and it will keep it active as you fired it on there. Now, they've also added a book and quill and a written book to the game. This is amazing. You can be in the game, you make this, and then you right-click on the ground and you can type out a story in the, the game itself and then you can publish it and then you'll have this written book that glows like an enchantment and it's incredible and once again that would be an amazing addition to adventure maps now there is also just like it's not really a great update but there's just like a new type of golden apple kind of thing it's exactly the same and of course there's no an, there's not another golden apple it's the same one it's just that the like effects you get from it are a little bit better there's you can also get bottle of enchanting and chainmail in survival mode 
and there's also five new slabs and like stairs for the three new plank types which I think is quite cool and they've changed the textures of gravel and dispensers and dispensers will eject water and lava so if you put a bucket of lava in this dispenser and you hit the button it will just eject the lava to like a source straight out of it which will be quite cool I believe and it will also take in water and lava well, that's right next to it if there's an empty bucket inside of it and you'll be able to place minecarts on rails and boats in water by firing them out of the dispenser now moving on we have stackable items now stack outside inventory when thrown on the ground so like if you've got a stack of dirt and you throw it on the ground they will start like moving in to each other so that it's a less of an entity to lag up the game so you can pick it up quite easily and there's also specific names for different wood planks leaves saplings sandstone they've all got their own names and it's like smooth sandstone chisel sandstone sto stone monster egg um, spruce leaves jungle leaf leaves blah 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 now also there's a new crafting recipe for books it, I think it's literally just I believe it was horizontal now it's just vertical I believe and there's an also easier mani item manipulation within invent inventory because you can now shift click with armor and brewing stand allows you shift clicking too empty buckets also stack up to 16 so no full inventory is full of bucket and wooden tools can be burned in furnaces instead of sticks saplings coal lava all that stuff XP and enchanting got like a major boost like recently because you can now like well you can only if you watch my earlier video it'll explain it there's way too much to go over I, I covered it all in my last snapshot video it's just the fact that they're like linear and blah 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 and the maximum level is 30 so I'm gonna move on to map structures it's like they've added pyramids to deserts and jungle temples to jungles of course and villages well villages spawn in desert biomes and they have like they're made of sandstone and sandstone stairs and all that lot now villagers spawn from spawning eggs will have like a random profession like priest chef and blah 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 there have been a couple of bug fixes what I feel have been needed for quite a while especially the arrows because I don't know if you've noticed well you probably have if you played Minecraft quite a while if you shoot an arrow at the wall it warps up the wall instead of just staying there now it doesn't uh, it will just stay there that's fixed also if you fire it at like a fence or a stair like it will not hit the hitbox it will go straight through and actually hit the block itself so it adds another layer of realism to the game also multiplayer same sounds have been fixed like I believe there was a bug in an earlier snapshot and better chunk loading in, sub, uh, in single player and fishing lines are now visible in single player now there was a fixy, a glitchy mob prediction in multiplayer. I don't know if you guys probably know that in the last update from 1.1 to 1.2, the mobs got a whole new mob AI system. So they got smarter, and this is just like a fix for them. And also using buckets in like furnaces, it won't consume the bucket anymore. It will just consume the lava. Now I'm going to quickly run over because I know that I don't have a lot of time left, and this video is pretty long it's, as it is now. I believe it's about. 15 minutes long or something like that right now so I'm just gonna wrap this up oh there's gonna be new new music and new sounds added to the game by C418 well there may be this is like eventual features items and blocks that will be possibly Im implemented but it's a very high chance there there'll be a, a legitimate way to obtain sponges I, I, I think that is amazing because sponges you've never been able to actually claim them legitimately so I believe this will help out quite a lot you'll be able to, well, Jeb is hoping to impl implement some more enchantments, so instead of just having fire, knockback, sharpness, there'll be a lot more put in, and some more potions. And Jeb stated recently that he wants to implement 2,653 potions in the game. That is a lot of potions. And Notch expressed interest in adding a sky dimension uh, earlier on in like, time he wants to add it back like Skylands and also server portals now according to get satisfaction I believe it's uh, a website Mojang has marked a player suggestion of server portals as planned he's going to like planning to put them in and he also wants to implement like a mini game like of capture the flag now he wants to implement 
a new mounting or controlling mob system that he like stated a while back and Notch confirmed it was planned and Jeb said on Reddit in April that it's pretty much promised as horses are going to be into the game and that you can mount them which I think is really cool. Minecarts, I believe he feels Notch has suggested making minecarts act like boats when placed in lava. Now, I believe that's quite cool, but I think they should maybe make it so you have to make a boat out of, like, never brick or something like that. I think that might work. And possibly custom paintings into the game, which would be pretty cool for artists out there. Now, stereoscopic and or green magenta 3D. He wants to add, like, a 3D mode to the game. More powerful minecarts, like, so they go faster. A couple of audio loops. Uh, a friend list as well, he felt like. Uh, a Minecraft documentary team of two-player productions filmed in Keynote Roadmap also containing this line. So they want to add a friend list to the game, which I think would be pretty cool. Like, also limited maps, video support so that you can, you know, video. And a possibility of adding an email slash name change to the game so you can change your username if you are like me my my in-game name is Tom1804 I chose that when I very first got it and I didn't think it was going to be my in-game username and I don't like it and I want to change it I don't know what I'm going to change it to but I want to so hopefully when they add that I will now Jeb stated during his DreamHack presentation a while back that they were planning to add more reasons to go to specific biomes so like a reason to go to a jungle biome to get something, a reason to go to the nether to grab something that's really important, a reason to go to a desert biome to go to all these different importance to get something. And also Notch stated this, uh, Jeb stated that Notch is working on jewel wielding for items and I know that was a while back but I believe Jeb will continue this because it's really cool. And he also responded to, well Jeb did, he responded to a tweet about the ability to make a portable fireplace or campfire on like when you're out in your travels and Jeb hinted of a possibility of implementing spikes so that they would work like pistons but push out spikes instead he later considered making a spike block that could be pushed by sticky pistons instead so and then dinner bone I don't know what that is but I know <laughs> it's, it's that's what it says here that I've got them written down uh, there's a guy, I believe it's a guy called Dinnerbone, showed interest in adding, uh, actually I think it might be a uh, Mojang person, I don't know, interest in adding spike blocks after adding the tripwire. Also, Notch stated several times on his Twitter a while back that he wanted to make cases, like display cases, and the ability to change chests. Now, if you're like me and you use mods quite a lot, you may have heard of one called the Zipline mod, I believe it was in the Sans mod. Well, not stated, like following Minecon, it was a while back following Minecon, that he wanted to implement a zip line into the game, which would be ending up like a redstone component after tripwire. Oh, wait, no. No, that wouldn't work like that. No, that's not how he stated it. Sorry, I read my writing wrong. They wanted to add a zip line, but however, this like idea ended up being tripwire instead. They, they changed it. So, yeah, not to reveal during the Secret Friday updates, it was a while back, that he would add dragons into the game. One being the Ender Dragon and the other being a Red Dragon. Now, and Jeb informed Redditors on his AMA that he would add Red Dragons, but was unsure exactly how. So, he wants to add Red Dragons to the game, and I believe that they will just be in the Never, I believe, because it's red. And I'm guessing, and I hope, that you'll be able to get dragons and you can tame them. I think that would be pretty cool. Now, there's a guy, he was a while back. Uh, his name was Mickley, I believe his name was. And he came up with an idea for pigmen. And Notch originally, originally planned for them to occupy NPC villages. And they are planned, like pigman. There is zombie pigman, but there isn't actually a pigman yet. And, of course, if you have played Evil Minecraft, it's a mod, you actually can be a pigman, and I believe he wants to actually implement those into the game itself. And John Kagstrom, I believe is that's how you pronounce his name, he 
commented on Reddit that he would like to add more an um, animals into the game, such as fishes, birds, and tree animals, like monkeys or something, to make the game seem more alive. And of course, different colours of wood stairs. I'm pretty sure they've already done this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's already been put in. But if not, that's what they want to do. And Dinnerbone on Twitter described linking minecarts together as like a chain, as like a train kind of system. So I think that all of that looks pretty promising and that it it looks like it's going to help adventure maps most. So I am going to end off my video right now because this has been, I believe it's like a 20 odd minute video. So I'm going to end off the video so you guys can actually have some peace and quiet without watching this really long video. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching my massively long snapshot in a hole video. So that's the update list for 1.3 and of course I will do a small snapshot every now and again to add the newer ones so thanks so much for watching, subscribe favourite, you know the drill I say it in every single other video and um, I'm going to leave so thanks so much for watching and goodbye <laughs>